All right, we're here at our favoritest place ever. Uh, my plan was to go to the Portland bins, but I have some appointments um, in town and I do not trust Portland traffic because knowing it, I would miss one of them. So we're just gonna dig today here in town, in Salem, see what we can find at our local bins. And then hopefully my next trip will be to the Portland bins. They have three bins locations up in Portland Metro. And then there's one in Vancouver, which is just across the bridge. So it's really not, I consider it part of Portland, but there's four bins up there. So I think I'll kind of make my rounds up there because these bins have been a little meh, you know? But let's go in today, see what we can find. Um, I think my whatnot stuff is all loaded. I'm not going to be adding anything else to the show. So this stuff will be on probably a future whatnot show, but let's go in, see what we can find. I think I'm starting in the shoes today. Well, I am starting in the shoes today, because we're already here, digging away. It's not super busy in here. But that doesn't mean much. Gentle Souls by Kenneth Cole, they usually do pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna try to find the other one, and then these are just soft, but I really like the, look, it's like a metallic snake skin. like literally right in front of you and by you I mean me because I'm blind I guess it's hard when there's like so much stuff your poor brain kind of goes into overdrive Oh, there's the other gentle souls. I think I'll get those. Oh, here's some Nordstrom. Those are nice. The gold slip on Nine West. Those are kind of fun. Those. I haven't really got a ton of shoes recently. They've just been like terrible. Birkenstock. The toes are super worn. ever picked up a pair of hokas. These are missing their insoles. They're pretty used. Hmm, I'll think about those. They also need their laces as well. But we'll see. I've heard, I think, that hokas can sell even if they're in rough shape, but I'll double check. Hmm. Chic. 
Oh, I think I've looked shake up before. Okay. Yes. The insides of those are also sad. Bandolino. These are cute. Oh my gosh, these shoes are like disintegrating. Splendid. These are cute wedges. I think Splendid is okay. Where's the other one? Marco. Made in Spain. They look like they're a narrow. No, they're not. They're just a size 6. Marco. Huh. I'll look those up. Oh my gosh, I literally think I have these posted right now. It's funny. These are kind of cute. Predictions. What are you? Oh, spring set. Kind of a nice clog, actually. I think Springstep is like a mediocre brand. Oh, here's the other one of these. I guess I should say. Now here's the other. Ooh, gosh. look up some of these throwback the ones that don't have matches and I will be back okay I threw the hokas back they're in really rough shape no insoles no laces maybe 15 bucks I, I threw this one back to because I couldn't find the match and I threw back the Margos oh I thought it said Marcos I don't know, maybe I'll keep those. But I kept those, which is the most shoes I've gotten from the bins in quite a while. So I am surprised, to be honest. Okay, I think I'm ready to go venture out. Colin Stewart, no, he's not the best. Um, and go see what else we can find. Betsy Johnson. Super rough shape. Okay, 
think I'm done with the shoes. There is a palette mixed media melon for 75. And you got a little BMW kids car for seven dollars. place for your cell phone. Okay, I think I'm gonna head to the back, see what they have back there, and go from there. Nice bag, but it's also very sad at the same time. Uh, my kid wanted one of the hats I picked up. I don't care. Sure. Oh, thigh master. Oh my, I can see why your thighs could get a workout. like a fake long shop.
Yeah, get the box. It's kind of a nice bag. Oh, it has a bunch of junk on it. Keep running over. No Venka. Beverly Hills. My main Might be worth getting. Spicy naked lady. Sour pork. Dollars. Why? I'll look them up. Someone thought they were worth something.
I bet this one glows. Campbell Kids, 1984. Oh, Fenton. Yep. Oh, his ear's broken off. Someone gave their whole bell collection. Okay, I'm gonna go back to a bin I didn't get to go through because people were going through it. I also don't think I got through the first part. This one. Y and S. like obsessed with the umbrellas in here I don't understand like while I've been digging here people have been popping umbrellas the whole time charming Charlie I don't know about this Look it up a little more. Okay, I'm gonna look a few things up and I will get back. Thank 
Good attitude. That's kind of fun. Ooh, it smells. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you have to keep one. Memory, at least. Nice leather nine west bag. Might get to that. A lot of scarves. A very funky hat. Fossil. The bag is bad, but I might take the key. I can put it on one of my fossils. Hmm, this is kind of a nice scarf. Silk. Silk ground. Know what that means. These usually sell pretty decent for me. These like burnout scarves. So I might get that. Kathy Van Zeeland. How are you looking, Kathy? Not bad, actually. My mom might want this one. We'll see. I don't know what these bins marinate in before they get out here on the floor. But I take my allergy pill and I'm like totally fine. But then I get to the bins and I'm like fighting for my life out here. Dust a bunch of pollen all over. This is a decent brand too, but I think um, I have. Do I have one? I don't know, but this one's kind of dirty. Fuzzy Nation. I have never heard of Fuzzy Nation before. They definitely put a lot of work into their branding. I might look that up. A faux coat. falling apart, Tommy Hilfiger. Guess. Oh, this one's falling apart too. Buy love, give love. Is that how it works? Oh. Buy hope with love. It's a really cute bag. What does it mean though? Like, is it a giveaway bag? This is a Becky bag. Birds, birds nest, and then like a suede bat. Kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack to a bin. Oh, 
Okay, I'm looking at him. I'll need the salt and pepper shaker. Oh my god, he's so cute. DKNY, but it is sad kind of. Or is it supposed to look like that? I think it is. Because the inside's in really good condition. Sass, made in USA. Sass does pretty good. Mm. Okay, I think this one's good. Bring out the best the old mayonnaise jar. Oh, I love this pig. Let me see what this is down here. Hold up. Original painting by Jody Jensen. Jody Jensen watercolors. Well, we'll look up Jody Jensen. See how she's doing. ET21. What is that? Hmm, let me look up BT21. This is falling apart. Style and Co. That's a nice bag though. Even though the brand isn't like amazing. Hmm. I don't know about that. Oh god, this one's falling apart too. Travel bag. Bagelini. Do I want to get the bagelini? Maybe. Put it in my maybe pile. Scottish rock. H&M. Rosetti. That is cute. Oh, and it comes with a little... I think someone made it. But it's so cute.
GTA Everyday Travel Adventure. Line of trade. This looks like it could be really decent. Throw that in. Okay, here's my cards of art. <laughs> Here's another one of those ETA. I'll look those up. I don't know if it's good or not. filled my cart and I have like 90 more bins to go through. It's gonna be interesting. This is plastic. This is Caribbean Soul. 
or Caribbean, Caribbean. That is cute. Tarantula cake. And I will be back. Okay, we thinned it out. Um, I put back this coat. I couldn't find who made it. It's not leather or anything, but put that back. Put that back the bagelini, just because I have a lot of bagelinis. Um, and I put back the Caribbean sole. It goes for about $12. So I put that back. And we are ready to move it on. Cute. 100% Thai silk. He's almost vintage. I might look him up actually. this really cool umbrella um <clears throat> someone picked it up but it had like cartoon print all over it it was for a local newspaper but I was like uh, I don't know if I want to get Massive umbrella. What are you? Hawaii?
ignore. Trident. Some rackets can be super expensive too. Gosh. gone but it's really pretty Ozark Trail Walmart Like a good tea. Teacup. Yeah, so it's adorable. The plate is a little chipped up $18. Oh, it's all the I might look up that heart to art. You never know. Signed by the author, and it's a first print, so we'll see about that. Uh, what was I? Oh, that tin. Um, nothing inside. I could open it, but I'm not going to get it. It looks like it is vintage, made in New York. So. 
so it's probably a good one, but I'm just gonna skip it for now. These are so cute. funny. Pacific Rim is missing its little lid. They didn't even use this. Search in July 2023 through 2024. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. They probably give it to me at the book price, but the book price is $280. Probably sell it for $12, maybe? Atlanta Bowie. someone drug it over here.
the other one. I might have to go retrieve the other one. Nike LeBron's. We need a magic eraser ring. These are nice, lucky flats. Try and grab the Fun. I wonder if the other one's in here. I throw that. I don't I don't know what's happening. Nice Vince Camuto. Someone collected blue bottle. Okay. 
we, we thinned it out. Um, I put a few things back. I had a Harry Potter book, which was a first edition, but they're only selling for like $12. So I put that back. Why are there like a million mini notebooks in here? <laughs> Interesting. Um, and then I put back that signed book, hardcover book. Those go not for that much, either, unfortunately. Stone light. It's a cute cookie jar. Or like dog treat jar, I guess. We got the wine holder.
pottery barn. Society thrift store. Might to get to that. It's an insanely, no, 2015.
weed through a bit of this and then I will move on to the next bin. even though I think they're awesome. I think I have him at home. Starbucks hand painted in Italy. Ooh, some craisin in there. De Silva, made in Italy. Actually, kind of nice. It is pretty heavy, though. The 
body shop is pretty expensive, I think. What is this? Satsuma? Okay, they are bringing out some more new bins right now. I think I'm going to go through, I'm gonna go find that one shoe. And then I'm gonna go through some clothes and then the new bins they're bringing out. So, let's stay tuned. Okay, everyone. It was a big day at the bins. We got two full boxes of stuff, which means that I'm going to make the digging part of the bins um, as a part one and then the haul will be a part two because the haul ended up being 30 minutes long. I, I mean obviously I got a lot of stuff so it does make sense but um, I am going to split it up into two so you all can have two separate videos to watch instead of dedicating almost two hours of your day to a video um, but the haul will come out one day after the digging so just a heads up that's what's going to happen to kind of make the haul a little shorter so thank you all for coming and i hope you have a good time bye